What? Okay. Bad Piggy's Huge Dong. Hey. That's what Bad Piggy's HD stands for. Bad Piggy's Huge Dong. Just can, like Angry Birds Huge I Dong. Guess that mm -hmm. could be what it stands for, Huge Dong. It is what it stands for. Yeah. Good. Says Angry Birds creator Donald Mustard. Donald Mustard. That's a name. He Fortnite didn't, he creator. Didn't that game. He didn't make Angry Bird. Rubio did. Yeah. I remember when the Angry Birds RPG came out. I remember when I Angry Birds Rio played. came out, bro. Yeah. I played that one a lot. I remember when Angry Birds Star Wars came out. I remember when Angry Birds Transformers came out. I was so into that game. That was a good game. That was sick. I actually did play that one. I liked the that Star one. Wars one. Or not. The Transformers one is the one I played. The Star Wars one was cool, too. Yeah. I don't even remember much about it. Like, was it just the same, like, just Star Wars? Like, the same game? Yeah, yeah. But it was just Cause different. Because wasn't Transformers, like, different a little bit? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a completely different was game. Was there, like, a run-and-gun game? Yeah. Yeah. That's you can still download that, right? Like, yeah, it's still up there. Mm. It was. There. I just, I just saw don't have it. any games on my Transformers. Phone. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, man. Fine, I'm down that too, so we can all be gamers. Uh, bad Piggies is done. Should we turn this into a Let's Play? I'm gonna do a Let's Play of Bad Piggies. Welcome, uh, welcome back, guys. Oh my god. Welcome back. Sorry for the for the delay in uh, a podcast episode because. Uh, we had some technical difficulties last time, guys. You guys got the behind-the-scenes episode, though. Yes, you did get the behind-the-scenes. That's from the bone zone. The bone zone. The bone zone to yow. Well, you can't say that, actually. It's the boner zone. Yeah, the boner zone. <laughs> Add a letter on And that. also, Quentin's not here. It's just us three. First just... episode of this, us three, in a while. Yeah. 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 How many episodes until episode 40? Well, 30. this is going to be 36. Okay. So only a few months. About forty. Before. So we now we have a we have a an anime uh, episode anime podcast episode thirty six lost in media now. Yep. It yeah. happened and it's never going to be seen by the general public. Why? Because the audio is. Because the audio I'm never. Gonna I don't even know if the audio can be like s spared or fixed. Yeah, we could just put in the title, lost media. That way, it's not like an official part of the podcast. It's just like a little off. I know, but it's like not even an enjoyable watch because you can't even hear us. So it's just like they would be watching our mouths move because the audio is like. Oh yeah. So, so what did we fine, talk about? I can't fine. really remember, but it was yeah, a funny I, one. I don't so, know. I, we were all damn. over the place last episode, though. Yeah. I do remember that. It was kind of weird. We were just we didn't really know what to talk about. It was real offbeat. Yeah. Maybe it was a good thing. I think it's awesome. better that we we only have us three too, because then the conversation stays pretty relevant on this topic we're focusing on, rather than it just going off all over the place. I think we definitely we need to get used to having that many people on. Yeah, because the misfits do it with more, and, we, and they do it fine. Yeah, it's like the, in order for us to like get used to it, it just needs to be a consistent thing. Yeah, but we all know that's not possible. Yeah, yeah. So, three man specials are consistent. Just like he really was a special guest on his own show. On his own show, he was a special guest for two episodes. Quentin, come back. I don't know what you're doing, but. Seriously, come back! Don't ignore. Don't More hang days. up on our Better calls. Just the cha cha. This is the anime something. I don't know. Anime guys. This is the anime, anime. salute podcast. <laughs> the anime salute. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Is. Good job. There you go. Salute. You can even Salute do to anime! You can even call it a hell! Hell! You know? Hell! Ow! Hell yeah! <laughs> no. no. Hell yeah! <laughs> so hell <good>. yeah! <laughs> you, say the, you say the hell when you whip out your hands. So you say, hell yeah! yeah. Hell yeah! I'm hell yeah! <laughs> See, I fucked up right Hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, do, 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 do. something different about this episode, though. You might be able to tell viewers that we are shooting oh, yeah. at a different angle today. Sorry. Thank you, Jackson, for lending your I have... <laughs> Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> I bought a tripod, and now we are shooting on a tripod. So it's, not long, it's no longer sitting on a desk that's like, I don't know, two and a half, three feet tall. It is now... It is now sitting... At a staggering, probably sixty-nine inches so now taller we can than really talk before. face to face. We're at sixty-nine six inches, sixty-two inches, dude. 
I put it at its highest. It was like up to here on me. <laughs> it's not that tall right now. No, it's not, not at its highest. But... Why? Because it would be way too high. Hey, Dad. Yeah, we'd be looking up at him. Maybe we should do an episode like that where we look up at him. Hey, Dad. I need your advice with something. <laughs> <laughs> we could. We should, like, film an episode really high up and then one, like, super low to the floor. So yeah, like, like we're just constantly looking down like this. and like, We'll look see so like fat. This. We'll yeah, look so fat from that I was pushing like this all the time, so I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah but your jaw super hard. What's up, y'all? I'm like, dream right now. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Don't forget to hit subscribe. <laughs> yeah. That, that'd be great. We should do that. A tall episode and a short episode. I, I think that'd be This funny. is like the medium yeah. episode right now. This is like the normal episode. Let's do a tall episode next week. Okay. I, do you think a tall episode would really be good? We'll even put we'll the just, tripod we'll, on the desk thing, and we'll bring the desk I mean, closer. Damn. So it'll just be like we're looking we're, right down at us right, right here. For the fan. I mean, yeah, we can put the tripod on. We can put the tripod on. Yeah. That's a good idea. Let's yeah. do that. Good idea. It's flowing. And that way we can really get like a nice landscape with the shelves and the whole set. It might like... You know what we should do? We should do an episode where the background is that one day. Oh, turn it around. But the, yeah. I'd have to like move my bed. Yeah, there's no room right there. Alex can sit on the, the bed. That would suck. I'll sit on a chair and Kane will sit I on mean, a chair. <laughs> we could probably do one like this way. Like if we had the camera like right here. Like we could put Make the chair that right like here. the background? I mean, yeah. yeah or make, the, make it your bed. Or we could even put the tripod on, on just like on the bed and have the. I don't even know. What if we put the tripod in this corner and we all sat right here? Yeah, because this yeah. is a lot. Because it shot this way towards your chair. Yeah, setup. there you go. We can change that up. That could be like bonus. That's like the bonus. That's, yeah. The boner. Yeah. 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 Guys. Man, it, it was like it's like how we filmed that one episode on my back porch. Oh yeah, I forgot we did that. That was cool. Is that the only place we've shot other than Quentin's house and your house? Um, we could have shot at my house. Ryan's house. Speed. Oh, we also have the Ryan's house episode. Oh, yeah. Is that up? Yeah. Yeah. It's literally episode eight. I need to 18. watch it. You have not seen it yet? No. It, it has a decent amount of views on it. Nice. And we, all, we almost shot the, well, it's literally there's like, called the Ryan arc. There's like 15 minutes of an episode that we filmed on the Grand Canyon, but you couldn't hear us because the wind was oh, abominable. If so. we would have, like, if you could have heard this and we actually would have been able to film that, it would have been a cool, like, episode. Yeah, it was me, you, Sam, Alex, and Brady. Yeah. We still need to get him on. Like, that's something that's we need to do is bring him on here. Do you think he could sit down for an hour and talk? Yeah. I'm sure he can do it. Yeah, for sure. That'd probably so. I mean, why don't we ask him tonight? If he's interested in, like, coming by. Like, if he's free on a Saturday. Because I don't know what he does. Let's ask him tonight. Brady, come over. Yeah, come, come over. Right now, Brady. Hello. Yeah, you heard him, right? Yeah. He was actually on the phone with me the whole time. Oh! Oh, yeah. Brady, yeah. what's up, dude? Come over. What's We're filming right now. Yeah. Yeah, oh, she... you have his address. Yeah, he knows right. Yeah. He's been yeah. here. Yeah. He's been here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're a funny guy. We don't hang up. He just stays on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> you're a funny guy. I can't hear him. By the way, don't hang up. Brady, don't hang he up. He knows. No, he knows. He knows. We do this all the time. You always just have the phone on with him? You're just always in a conversation? Yeah. Even at work, your phone's on with him. I have a portable charger. <laughs> I know you do. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. And it does me the justice. Yeah. Yeah, I actually have a portable charger at my job, too. I'm actually streaming Neon Fries. Oh. Like, I'm streaming the whole time of me, like, portioning them. I'm really showing everyone, like, the whole Where process. do you have your like, camera? There's, like, actually, there's, like, a little slot where, like, the salt shakers go. Mm -hmm. So you can just put my camera right there. And it's only facing towards me, the fry cook. So that's all they're saying. It's just me going ham on fries. That's just all you do all day is fries, though? You don't, like, do anything else? Well, I do other stuff. I have to, like, figure out how to record. Are you doing other things? Like yeah. have multiple cameras set up maybe yeah. and like have a clicker on... in your pocket? Yeah. yeah. Like when I'm outside taking orders, like I have a secret spot that no one knows where I can put the camera. I'll put it there. And then, yeah, I'll, I'm just standing in the same spot. And it's just video footage of me taking orders. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. I need to ask Matt if I can do that. Don't even ask. Just do it. Yeah. yeah. They're hidden cameras for a reason. After yeah. Afterwards, I'm just going to show Matt. What was that, guys? That wasn't me. Dude, I saw Matt yesterday for the first time. What does he look like? I saw the back of him. Oh. And, like his side profile. <laughs> I saw that back side. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. So you didn't even see his face? 
I saw his side profile, so I saw half his face. <laughs> is he good? Like, what does he look like? An older guy. <laughs> Old? He's cool. Like, middle-aged oh. man. Okay. That works in and out. He looks like Caden if Caden works there for another 15, 20 years. <laughs> it's not middle-aged. Wait, would it be? Dude, <laughs> you're 20. Nearly. Well, he's not middle-aged. I said no. 40. In yeah, 20 in years, 20 he'll be 40. Years. In 20 years, I'll be 39. Not yet 40. So I won't be mid age yet. 40, 40 is like almost mid age. I mean, most people live up to their like 80s or 90s. Say, so yeah. I'd say 45 is like the medium of like, okay, after this, you're old. After this, <laughs> after this you're old. After this age, you're old. <laughs> what is old though? I consider like people. I'd say people like in their 60s. 60s, 60s I'd say. 60, 65. Because, I mean, even in your 50s, you can still do stuff, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, you can. I mean, some but... can do stuff in their 60s. Because, I mean, you're supposed to work until mm -hmm. you're, like, 65 is when you retire, right? Mm -hmm. So, But, I mean, at that point, it's, like, not only just humans are old at 60, like, everything is old as fuck at 60. <laughs> like what? Like, if Caden's bed was 60 years old, you'd say this bed is old as fuck. Yeah. 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 People have been around for, like... Man, humans have existed for so long, dude. I was playing a game the other day, and it was about, like, humans as monkeys, like, 10 million years ago. Dude. Oh, yeah, was that Planet of the Apes? It's called, uh, Ancestors, a Humankind Odyssey. I deleted it because it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about monkeys yesterday in the zoo. Yeah, Mark, Wol Mark Wahlberg's Planet of the Apes movie. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg? I thought it was James Franco. There's another Planet of the Apes movie that's even earlier than the James Franco one that has Mark Wahlberg. Oh. <laughs> I think it's from like the early 2000s or like late 90s, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> like, I, I think from the synopsis, basically uh, Mark Wahlberg wakes up and like it's normal America, but everyone are is the like the monkeys now. Like there's a monkey police officer and like... <laughs> Just, they're walking around as normal humans would, but they're all monkeys. And Mark Wahlberg's like, what's going on? And then I think he, like, gets teleported to a planet with the, the apes. I don't know, man. Planet of the apes? Whoa, yes! Dude. Actually, you, Earth is the planet. One day you wake apes. up and everybody that you knew are just monkeys now. <laughs> what if I woke up tomorrow and literally everyone just turned into a monkey? You just you go downstairs all... and you just hear... <laughs> <laughs> they start getting violent at you, dude. They'll they see you start getting scared because they haven't seen a human in forever. Or ever. <laughs> yeah. They, like, look at you and, like, they start getting scared. And when they get scared, they, like, they get violent. And then what if they, like, oh, oh, they, like you know, Tucker comes out as, like, a little a little gorilla and starts peeing all over you. Oh. He's, like, a little orangutan. He's just, oh. like, he's, orangutan. He's, since he's so smart, he's, like, really, like, Fast and like can climb up the walls super fast and like he's like a Noah crawler, like a demonic little animal. Yeah, Tucker is a canonic Noah crawler. <laughs> canonic in my head cannon. Oh, Dude, let's you, tell him our head cannon about what that all the Black Ops zombies Easter egg songs are sung by Nana sung by <laughs> and are made by Blast. <laughs> all right, that's our head cannon because I mean, it's like rock music, and most of the Easter egg songs have the same female vocalist so it's um, my own head cannon now. they have the same female vocalist yeah well yeah amongst like all those easter egg all songs like, it's like one to be of three yeah it's the same girl that sings them Emily it's like Stagman? This, yeah or whoever i don't know her name that's nana no no that's our head cannon that instead of elena seigman singing the songs and nana sings oh. the songs you said it was the same voice actress yeah that sings all the black ops easter egg songs from bo one to three yeah oh okay <laughs> I think you were getting a little confused. I was. But yes, that's that's a head cannon I, want, I believe now. That's a dumb one. That's a cool one. I think it's cool. Don't listen to him. <laughs> he'll he'll yeah. just have to make up his own head cannon for... I think the head cannon is that she sings the songs that she is credited to singing. Well, that, well that's not fun, is it? That's just... Well, that's she's special. talented. She's talented enough to deserve a spot in my head to remember her name. <laughs> yeah, she's... Good, but I like to imagine it as it being blast. I thought you were gonna say black. <laughs> no, I imagine it to it being black. <laughs> yes, because that would make total sense to say right now. 
just because you're like a racist and everything's like about black people with you, so I thought you were going there. Racist? I think we mean casist, <laughs> which I'm definitely not, I am, guys. That's for the record you're saying that? Yeah. Judge, he is lying on the record. There is no judge in this court. This is a court of... Your hours. Honor, a kid made a simple mistake for... He thought it was just a bit. A bit. <laughs> that was... But this is real. This is... We're actually in a courthouse now. Unfortunately, he thought that the girl was just playing along with the bit. Who's the judge? Judge Jerry, behind the camera. Uh, who am I? Just a lawyer? We haven't even... Yeah, we haven't you're, even the, acknowledged you're the Jerry defendant. Yet. Or... I'm the asshole. Yeah. We haven't even acknowledged Jerry yet. How you doing, Jerry? I fucking hate Jerry. <laughs> Objection! Jerry, you're a good guy. Objection overruled. You know what I just learned? What? There was a mini, like, animated series or something where Jerry Seinfeld and Superman hung out. <laughs> what? Good for them, dude. Yeah. There's someone trying to recreate Seinfeld using AI. Like, try to make Seinfeld keep going through AI. Keep going how? Like, like is the AI writing scripts and stuff? Well, they're, like, either trying to replicate it to, like, they're trying to make it so it can, like, replicate it, and then they are going to try to continue Seinfeld in their own way through AI. Like, there's some They're AI gonna that's literally, them. like, replicated a whole, like, Seinfeld scene, but it, like, animated itself. And it's... Oft I'm pretty sure I'm sending you guys a TikTok. I'll have to show you later after this. It's, it's weird. Well, if that guy could do it, could anybody do it? Yeah, literally AI is open to anyone, dude. Especially chat G chat This GGP. is a perfect segue to jump into talking about chat GPT. Yeah. I just heard about it. It is making headlines. It's crazy. I've been seeing on the news like throughout the week. It's <laughs> literally type problem into type any any problem into I know. Into. Like literally when <laughs> I brought it up, it was like this is like crazy the things it can do. You brought it up before, didn't you? Yeah, yeah we it was, it was yeah. a whole name of an episode we had and like five at that or six point, episodes you guys ago. Like I asked you if you guys have heard about it and you mm -hmm. said you didn't. But yeah, it's just getting more and more crazy. Cody and Noel are talking about it too, about the things that people are doing with it. Dude, I told Caden it's literally just Skynet. It's happening. Dude, they literally had Chet Hanks on their podcast. And they, they did? Had, yeah. <laughs> and they had... Um, Who's Chet, Chet Hanks? Tom Hanks' son. Oh. Who's a totally total like city boy. <laughs> He's so funny. Yeah, and um, basically they have them on the show, and they use JetGBT to like write a script, like a script for them all to enact on the podcast of them like in a road trip, like on a road trip. Chet is driving, and like someone farts, but no one wants to like admit who it is. And ChatGBT wrote this whole script with lines for everyone, and they reenacted the whole thing on the podcast. <laughs> That's insane. And like oh they God. threw in jokes in there, and it had like an end to the story. It just. Yeah, Cody or whoever, Cody's like, yeah, I just typed in, or it was Noel. It's like, make a strip, uh, a script for Chet, Cody, and Noel, and they're all on a road trip, and someone farts, and then he clicks go and <clears throat> just programs punches out a whole script for them to read on the podcast. <laughs> that's that's incredible. I know, literally can fucking solve any problem you throw at it, dude. With like ChatGPT, it feels like we actually have infinite ability to do anything. I mean, there's some stuff you can't ask it. Like, there is some amount of, like, restrictions to things you can ask. But for the most part, like, way, you can, like, word things as a different way to, like, ask it the question you want to ask. Dude, I just feel like eventually we're going to be using all these AIs to, like, travel the fucking galaxies I think... and universe and shit. Or using it to travel the oceans and actually it's just like every day someone, the I oceans. feel like every day is someone's making a new AI. Because... I'm always hearing on, like, Twitter or whatever of, like, someone showing off, like, a new eye that just came out. I'm like, AI that just came out. And I'm just like, these just keep popping up. Like, the Seinfeld one. Someone, like, made that. Like, where are all these, like, different AIs? And how are people, like, they're just popping up everywhere. It's really just, like, a whole, like, swarm of, like, intelligence and technology that's, like, definitely going to change the world in the next few years. I it already has. I literally saw on the news that, like, the government was, like, monitoring ChatGPT and, like, talking about limiting like the work getting put in on it because they don't want it to like actually get too much like skynet 
Well, like it's it on the have it's, it's like will. on the government's radar. Well, they don't want it to advance, like keep advancing further and further. It's already starting to accomplish things that are like crazy. I'd say let it go. Let's see how far it would go. You say what if it goes too far? <laughs> then we stop. Stop just it. pull the plug. Well, we can't stop it. Someone can just pull the so, plug, right? They can. They can pull Skynet's plug. It's over. <laughs> it's just a movie. Skynet will be real in five yeah. seconds. Skynet will be real in five seconds. Oh yeah. fuck, dude! John Connor's real. Dude, it's ah. gonna, it's gonna gain born, awareness. He was born 2011. <laughs> John Connor was born in 2011. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> how old is John Connor now? He's 12. Yeah. John Connor, Shenya. Yeah? Literally. Yeah. Dude, ChatGPT is sick, though. I kind of want to start using it just to... Like, I haven't even tried it yet. Like, I want to try it. I don't even know how to try it. How do I try I it? I think you could just look... I looked it up before we. I brought it up, like, the last time. And I think you have to, like, make an account to use it. Oh, so, like, that's I right. I think you told us that. I don't know if you have to, like, sign up and pay to use it, but I know you do have to, like, sign up for something to, like, gain access to it. I saw a TikTok of somebody that used ChatGPT and hooked it up to a 3D printer in order for the 3D printer to... Write with a pen this motherfucker's homework. I saw that. <laughs> I saw what? that shit. <laughs> like, ChatGBT used the printer to, like, write mm -hmm. with a pen. It, he, like, hooked up the printer with the... Uh, it was a 3D it printer. It was a 3D printer. Yeah, he hooked up the 3D printer with ChatGBT, and he asked it to write his homework for him. And he put a pencil on the end of the 3D printer, and it wrote his homework. An essay. It did like, an essay for him. Great handwriting, too. See, it looked like typeface. Yeah, that's so cool. It's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you start hooking ChatGPT up really to all these nowadays, different things, they, you can do crazy shit. Like high schoolers in a few years, and like any any student, they can just ChatGPT their homework now. They can just look oh. it up. Hey, solve this equation for me. Solve this whole thing. Write an essay for me. A that's, college paper. That's what it was. That's what the government was. They were like talking about limiting ChatGPT, or they were talking about what ChatGPT is going to have on the effect of like actual knowledge we have in the future like what is yeah how is chat gbt going to change knowledge for us in the future because people won't learn anything they'll just exactly it up. or they'll just get something to do it for them yeah yeah we're gonna <laughs> live we're gonna live in, now like literally the homework they're already doing that yeah we're gonna live in the wally world we're all yeah. gonna become fat motherfuckers and ride around on chairs in a big spaceship and all the robots are gonna be on earth chilling dude it was just one robot it was wally but there was others before wally yeah. There was others. <laughs> There's other Wallies, guys. Before the purge happened. Before all the Wallies figured out that cleaning's a pain in the ass and they just killed themselves. <laughs> Jeez. I actually don't remember. I haven't seen the movie in forever. Did you watch that movie? Wally? Yeah. What do you mean, Wall? Yes. Wally. Are you serious? Wally. Come on, Bray. Okay, at least that's better than what other Brave. I have, a, I have a good talking point that I just thought of. I don't, why don't we think about, like, what are some certain actors that were, like, born for certain roles? And, like, start it off, I'll give an example. For Anthony sure. Starr for Homelander. <laughs> yes. It's so funny because, dude, on Twitter, he's, like, such a nice guy. I he's know. such a sweetheart, but in the show, he's... He's, he's a fucking like, menace. It's so funny. But, yeah. Like, I've seen, like, interviews and behind the scenes with him. He's so funny. He He's is. a sweetheart. sweetheart. It's funny. Willem Dafoe for uh, Green Goblin. Goblin. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I was going to say... Um, Aaron Paul, Jesse Pinkman. Yeah. Literally, he was born to play him. Mm -hmm. What's his name? He plays J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, uh, John... Uh, fuck. Jonathan... Is it Jonathan? No. I'm it's Simmons. Just... Oh, J.K. Simmons. Yeah, J.K. J.K. Simmons... Simmons. Literally the perfect J. Jonah Jameson. Mm -hmm. Literally perfect. Have you seen yeah. He's from the comics. No. Oh. Have you guys seen Whiplash? Like no, that? it's on my list, dude. <gasps> it's so good. I, I know. He is such a fucking dick in it, but it's so funny. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> I know. I know. I see clips on it. That's a really good watch. I can we watch it? it? Well, he's gone. Um, it's yeah. on HBO. We can sign in on my HBO. Unless you have an account. I mean, I'm sure I do, but I mean, we can just sign it to yours. <laughs> I'll make you sign I can, out when I okay. leave. Or, yeah, because my parents, I, I we had an account, but I think I asked my parents. Actually, dude, day. how many people can be on an HBO at one time? Because you can just keep it logged in if you want. But if it if you get on your HBO and it kicks me off my HBO, 
We're gonna have problems. I mean, I don't have any desire. I mean, I guess I could start watching Last, Last of Us. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. dude, Smiling Friends is on there too. That is a funny. I mean, I have his. I'm signed into his Crunchyroll on my PlayStation. That's true. I literally asked him the other day. I was like, "Yo, you're gonna pay for the premium so I can watch my yeah, show." <laughs> I would charge you, but I don't care. It's if literally, you, dude, I'll literally pay half. No, it. it's literally ten bucks a month. Yeah, I'll, pay, I'll you pay you five bucks so I can watch my Blue Lock soccer show. Five bucks isn't. I mean, just buy me in and out. That's what Blue Lock is about. Soccer. soccer. Yeah. <sighs> okay, man. Hey, you can't I'm, have my HBO anymore. Hey, I fucking hate sports, and I fucking uh, like the anime. So it says something. I despise mm. sports. You also like Climber, sport manga. Oh uh, yeah. So but maybe, Climber, maybe, Mori base. Maybe you just like sports. Maybe you should just read Slam Dunk, sport manga by Takuya Ino. Inoue, by Musashi guy. I think if I were to read his other basketball work that has better art, real. Oh. Because you said Slam Dunk is like ninety style. You said that in one of the previous episodes. Yeah, it is. And we know everything pre. 99 art style manga we don't need that why devil man is pre devil man is 80s yeah devil man's really old <laughs> it i want to read it but i'm pretty it, sure doesn't he i'm pretty no I, I was thinking it was 70s but it's definitely 80s yeah it's 80s yeah dude the old devil man anime you watch scenes from that it's real old i know really old Damn. i'm i'm curious why they like Name Crybaby. Is it just like a soft reboot kind of thing? Is Crybaby canon in Devilman? I don't yeah. know what that like Devilman is, Crybaby. So. Like I don't. I've, I don't know if it's a sequel or like a soft. I reboot. thought it was just like really a dumb thing. Is. I because I've think only it's seen a, that. I think it's pretty much what I. Okay, have you, you guys have? Seen I've watched it all. Crybaby. I've seen the end. So, <laughs> okay. So I've I think the universe resets because time just keeps going, and you know, the universe. It the theory is the universe expands and then implodes and expands and implodes and it's like the same shit over and over and over and over i think it's just one of those it's just another universe that um, has it's just you know, that's actually super cool though i didn't know those were connected i thought crybaby was its own just like different thing i'm pretty sure they're in the they're like connected a separate somehow timeline. Some way. yeah because i know i've heard devil man's really good like the original one yeah I've heard people really like Crybaby. I've never really heard any praise for the original Devil Man. Yeah. Hmm. I still gotta watch the. I'll Cry give it Baby. a try. It's good. That I'll first episode. want to try. That first episode really horny. I will. Oh, it's crazy what they do. That first episode. I will, I will. Oh, give me a kiss with a mullet, Billy. No tongue. Oh, let me watch this at Thanksgiving dinner with my family. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did that. <laughs> I what? What year was um? Oh, 2000. It would have been 2020. Uh, yeah, Thanksgiving of 2021. Did you put it on? No, like I was, I had my, I was listening to it, like watching it on my phone with my AirPods in. Oh. But I was still watching it openly, like I wasn't trying to like cover it. <laughs> and I was just sitting there eating my Thanksgiving dinner while watching it. I was just, like on episode seven at that point or something. Oh, I thought it was episode one. That's disco scene. No, I was like, scene. I was like midway. Is that the scene that, that you showed me when we were on the podcast one of those times? I don't remember. What, he started watching it once? He started before? watching it on the episode, and <laughs> I looked over, and we watched some that, scene where they were in a rave. That doesn't sound that's, that's very it. surprising to me. Yeah, I used to be a dick. <laughs> I still be. am. I was going to say, still <laughs> am. Used to be. Come on now. Used to be. Boy, I am. And boy, you know. So I actually have real talking points. I found a red rock. Oh, sorry. A red rock? Yeah, red rock. Boom. 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 Disgusting, rather. Let's see what these talking points are. Um, today we're gonna be talking about Mel Gear Solid. Uh, my name is Snake Eater. So I only have two, actually. My name is Snake Eater. That's what he says, right? He's no, like, I'm the Snake Eater. No. <laughs> my first talking point is the poster for first poster for Fast X was revealed. Oh God. It's that time of year, huh? I saw something. It's like they were. Teasing the beginning of the end. Yeah, let's see. I, I think that hasn't happened like, already. I think I liked the tweet. So there's probably going to be a Fast 11 and 12, and that's probably going to be it. I think that's what it is. That's it's like totally a get a soft reboot, and Vin Diesel makes a cameo. And then we get XXX again with Vin Diesel. 
Can we get a live reaction of um, Alex reacting to your crying after Persona 4 ended? Oh, God. Uh, Let me see it. I will show you in a second. Oh, God, dude. You're going to get flamed. Hey, man. I don't care. I am connected. Alex can make fun. It's not his thing, so it's fine. I will not feel ashamed for crying to something I Here can't. it is. Oh. The end of the road. Dude, that's like, that looks like a 2000s ass title. It really does. The, just the fast. Uh, that looks like X Men. Yeah, that's what I saw. <laughs> it's like the X. I see X and then I see Professor X right here. Oh! He's praying. I didn't know he was a Catholic. Family. Family. Family Catholic. Family. Yeah. Family. So, yeah, Fast X is happening, and I'm sure I'll see in theaters with one of my friends. Uh, Fri um, like Shaggy nine. from the 2000s. From Norville. Like Norville. <laughs> Norville. Norville. Did you guys hear how bad that Velma show was? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. They literally had ratings lower than the live action Dragon Ball movie I'm, from the 2000s. I watched Moist Critical. That movie is terrible. <laughs> I've always, I watched Moist Critical's um, video because he like reviewed it. And he's like, I did the I I made the sacrifice and watched the first two episodes of Velma so I could tell you guys not to watch this horrible show. <laughs> I saw that video. <laughs> yeah, heard it's pretty rough. Like really fucking. That's bad. on HBO too, right? And they're like self promoting. Yeah, like, guys, I saw it show. on there. I saw it on there. I was like, I'm not gonna watch Who this. Who the hell is Norville? Shaggy Black style. Yeah, Black style. Yeah, and apparently, um, is even Scooby in that? He's not even. No, no that he takes the place of. Oh yeah, Scooby Doo isn't even in the show. He's not. It's literally just about Velma. Yeah. Was it like a high school show? Yeah. Fred. Fred is like a huge dick. Yeah. Fred. Fred is a fucking wet. Like a stick. jock bully. He's a wet stick, dude. Yeah. A wet stick? <laughs> yeah. He's a... He's a wet blanket and a, a stick in the mud. He's a wet stick. He's a, yeah. he's a beef stick. He's a... He's a beefcake. No, he's not. He's no, he's skinny and not. short. And he's a dick. A dick. He's, he's skinny dick. and short and he's dick. And he's skinny and short and he's a dick. You want to see this live reaction? We're going to get a live reaction of... Oh my god. Of this prepare, to get, crying. prepare to get flamed here, oh guys. Oh my god, you're going to get flamed. <gasps> 30 seconds. <gasps> No way, he posted this. Only on the Twitter, though. Because only three Shut people. Shut up, fool! Sorry. Don't listen to this shit. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Anime, dude. So sad. Hey guys, we finished Persona 4. Yes! Yes! I can't it's believe special. that. I can't believe that. How yeah. you're a? I don't fucking care, man. I'm a grown ass man. Yes. Exactly. I was gonna say that. I'm a grown ass man. Yes, I'm it. I cried during Persona Four because that game was good. Eighty four hours played. What even made you cry? It's just the ending. It was just yep. a happy ending. I don't know. It was the journey. It was like, oh, I don't want this to go. I was like, no, I had so much fun. That's why it hit me. It wasn't really sad. It was just like, man, it's over now. But that's what New Game Plus is for. Had to replay it again. Put another sixty or so hours into it, probably. And then you play Persona Three after that. No, it's he's, got, he's got Platinum in it. It's gonna be like another one hundred fifty hours. Yeah, it takes one hundred fifty hours to play the goddamn game, bro. Platinum is pretty fucking rough. Man. Yeah. Um. People were saying that they changed like the trophies from like the Steam version of P Four. Like they changed the trophies around. To make them harder so like the platinum <laughs> is harder to get with like the uh, remaster they just released so that's fun but i have, only have like 20 more trophies to get yeah they're probably fucking hard and the time continues as fuck yeah i have to beat the grim reaper um i don't know anything one. about that he's like the hardest boss in the game he's like the secret oh he's the secret, he's like the oh, secret he's the boss okay yeah only one 0.1 percent of people have the platinum for the persona 4 but it's crazy that people have it though yeah I mean, has even better better. <laughs> they're probably veterans and have already played the game and they're probably just skipping everything, so. Uh, or they just have less of a life than you. Oh, yeah, and we know That's... I have the least life here. <laughs> yeah. Because I have you just 80 hours of Persona in less than a week. You just go work and then you come home and Persona. I, I work, I make that cheddar, I come home and I make more cheddar. Digitally. He work, he make that cheddar, he come home and make life better. Oh! Hey, bars. Hey, hey. We need to tell him about our rap we made yesterday. It's so shitty. You guys made a what? rap? I made a Gorod rap. Uh, let's hear it. 
How did it go? It's like, I'm a workaholic, pop the perkaholic, open all these doors, man, I'm a shopaholic. That's okay. But don't call me an alcoholic, we just kept rhyming. You said alcoholic. We just, we just kept yeah. rhyming alcoholic, like. Yeah. It was, it was kind we of said workaholic, perkaholic. It's not even about workaholic, alcoholic. Well, we were just like only, zombie things. The only thing that retained the zombies was uh, opening all these doors and also perkaholic. Yeah, like opening all these doors, like the shopping free, you know? I'm yeah. a shopaholic. I got the shopping free, just. I don't know. I it's can't. not about Gorod. Well, we were, we were trying we were to get to the Gorod. Gorod. So we called it the Gorod rap. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. We were really trying to, like, come up with the lyrics, but it just was not coming to us. We were just not made to make music. Yeah. Or write lyrics. The moment, the moment Caden came out with that bar, buying all these doors, I'm a shopaholic, I went down immediately. <laughs> it shocked me that much. <laughs> and it took us, like, two minutes to think of that bar. <laughs> yeah. I finally said it, and Jackson went down. He's like, dude, that bar was so hard, it made me go down. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. It's just a shame that's where the bars ended, though. Yeah, because I kept trying to use my brain to do it, and I couldn't, and I kept going down. Going down. There, didn't we do one later that night, or was it just that? I just swear we did something else. I'm pretty sure we did, but I can't remember what it was. What's, the, uh, what's our second talking point? That... The Batman 2 is confirmed to be releasing... In 2025, right? April... Damn, no, man. October 3rd, 25. I was wrong. Oh, far. That's but far. That's it's happening. Two years away. That is two years away. So it's not two... I thought that was three years away, but it's only two. So it's, it's happening. Of course it was going to happen. And it has a confirmed date. That's good. So. Someone was theorizing that it was going to come out in 27. I'm like, oh, I don't think that. I was hoping you would say 24. At, like at least, dude, that would have been sick. How about it comes out next month? Oh my god, I would yeah. explode. <laughs> He's, Matt Reeves is just like, yeah, guys, actually, <laughs> we start filming immediately after. Yes, here it is. <laughs> here, Enjoy. here it is. He's just, here it is. There you go. <laughs> Have you guys wanted it? Here it is. It's just the it's just EJ's Batman movie, <laughs> which Ooh. we never saw. You remember when we were doing the podcast and EJ, some kid here, I made his own EJ. Batman movie. And he was doing it in the theaters. I do remember that. <laughs> we were talking about how we wanted to see and I, it. And I was like, dude, let's go watch it. And we're like, dude, why would we go watch a shitty Batman? <laughs> when we can watch the good one. Because I think the actual one was still in the theaters or I don't know. Yeah, it had just like come out. Damn, I wish I would have seen that fucking movie. I know, we should have all gone and seen it. Dude, it was like an hour long and they rented out the whole theater for it. I kind of wanted to go and like see that, what it was about. Did you hear anything about it? No. no. That's the sad thing too is I never heard if it was good or bad <laughs> yeah. so I don't even know. Like, we should track it. EJ no, down. Like, no, yeah, like, text him and be like, hey, we want to see your Batman movie. <laughs> I'm still like friends with him. He, like, Ask him, dude. Yeah. I'll, we I'll, need to get a I'll reaction. Yeah. Like, Hey man, I really wanted to check out your Batman movie like a few years ago. Do you still have that? I'll we need to send me the link. <laughs> I like our own Cosmonaut Variety Hour. Just like film us watching it and take out the funny parts. Yeah. <laughs> EJ's Batman funny moments. <laughs> we'll take out the funny parts with our reactions or us cracking jokes in the middle of it. <laughs> yep. Just like Cosmonaut Variety Hour. That, that would be like a fun format of video. Like I don't want to copy it, but doing that is yeah. a, like a fun I think way we should to react to stuff. That could be something we could consider doing, but I don't know, like, how do we do it? Because we'd have to be filming the whole time, and then afterwards, like, film it up. We need, like, I an actual, yeah, we need, like, an actual camera. Yeah. Because <laughs> nobody can film for, like, two hours on their phone. Yeah. Unless we're Literally filming, like, 360p. Can, like, the limit I can film <laughs> on that is two hours. So, we Oh, you could. Okay, let's just watch a movie that's an hour and a half long. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, The Lighthouse. Oh, we need to watch that. Let's watch it tonight. Me and you, Katie. I thought we were going to watch No, we are going to watch... Um, Whiplash. Norville. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're going to watch Velma, right? Oh, Velma. I guess that's a good segue, though, to jump into your talking point about the, the DC stuff. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. So I, bring that up, because Alex doesn't know anything about it. That's right. Yeah, so basically... Over this week, everyone knows that like the DC extent, like the film universe DCU. is kind of just fucked. Yeah, no one really yes. cares about it. It's all over the place. Like no leadership whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, Warner Brothers, what the hell are they doing? They're so basically, um, you guys know James Gunn. He made the Peacemaker show. That was like a big success, and it's coming mm -hmm. back for like a season two. I love James Gunn. And so people are like, and he also I think directed like a recent Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Yeah. yeah. 
I love James. I, and yeah, that's what I know him from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, he makes those. And so people are like, wow, James Gunn has been making some good DC stuff that the other people have not been making. So basically, they decide decided to make James Gunn and his brother like the CEO, basically of like DC, like the whole like entertainment business, like the movies, the like the Kevin Feige. Yeah, he's Feige. basically like the Kevin Kevin Feige of DC now. Who's Kevin Feige? He's, he's like, like the main the CEO big, of big Marvel. up top boss of Marvel. Oh, that's what I was comparing. He's the one that always announces the new things at the venues. He's like, and we got this project lined up, and he's always wearing a hat. Mm. I'm sure you, you've seen him. Anyways, yeah, basically he's like, um, in his he made he posted on Twitter like a six minute video, and he's basically just describing um, that he's gonna like basically all the all the rest of the. DC movies that still need to come out are going to come out throughout this year. We still... Flash needs to come out. Aquaman too. And they said, like, after the remaining movies that still need to come out are out, that basically he's he's going to jump into, like, his new, like, part one of the DCU. Like a phase one. Like, like a phase you did. It's called Gods and Monsters, he said. And he announced, like, 11 projects. And um, he said that he wants to like make it so like if a character is voiced in an an like in an animation that it's like the same person who plays them in the live action like he wants everything to be coherent mm -hmm. in television and film just like Marvel's doing. So obviously make people care about DC more. Um, so they announced like a Green Lantern show and um, a Supergirl movie and a bunch of this stuff and he said that like his universe the dcu or whatever they're calling it, it's going to be like the canon and then everything else that exists outside like batman 2 or the joker 2 or teen titans go it's going to be labeled like as dc elseworld like another like universe so it's not considered like the canon like mainline it still exists but considered elseworld that's basically like the whole announcement is that dc is trying to put on some big boy pants and really change the direction in Dude. which they make stuff I think it's, it's super exciting. Shit. Like, we have, like, another, like, big, like, Marvel thing to be excited for, but, like, DC. Is it gonna be shitty like the Marvel Universe? Well, the first... After Endgame? The first three phases of Marvel was sick. After that, it fell apart, but... Yeah, is it gonna be, like, the shit it is now? A bunch, I think... A bunch of I mean, shitty shows. James Gunn has been pretty solid with his projects. I hope they don't just make a bunch of fucking stupid shows. I just I, I don't even know many of the DC characters or properties, so it's. Like, I'm excited because I'm, I'm kind of curious because, yeah, I don't I wouldn't I don't go around telling people I'm a DC fan because I'm really not I don't really know most of the characters, mm -hmm. um, so I think it's cool that like they're trying to get DC out there more because I feel like definitely now people are way more mainstream they know Marvel but I still feel people don't really talk about DC as much mm -hmm. as they do Marvel so I think it's good for them to like. Finally. Appeal to the masses more and try yeah. to make good shit. Because that'd be cool if I got interested in DC. DC is sick. DC is cool. I'm trying to find like a list of things he announced. Yeah, I don't. I can't remember all the projects he announced, but all I remember was like the Supergirl movie and the Green Lantern show called like Rangers or something. Okay, Superman Legacy La has started is going to start filming next year and will make July twenty twenty five. Superman Legacy is going to be the first movie under this storyline. Hmm. So in, oh yeah, Superman. he's like writing a script for a Superman movie. Presenting a more hopeful and comic accurate depiction of Superman than the Henry Cavill version. Which was constantly amid darkness. Yeah. That would be cool and she's gonna have, He's going to have the company of his cousin Kara Zor-El, which is Supergirl. Yeah. Which will be cool. And then we're going to get a Supergirl movie, Woman of Tomorrow. Yeah, so yeah, I heard about that. Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, and Jon Stewart. Booster Gold, Swamp Thing, a new Batman. Booster his... Gold? Yeah. Swamp Thing, a new Batman, and his son, Damian Wayne, and many more. These are coming in the first phase. Dude, that Booster Gold one's going to be cool. What <clears throat> is that? Isn't he the time-traveling superhero? Yeah, I think so. I've never heard of him. He's so funny. He, like is a superhero from the future and he has like a bunch of like future stuff hmm. he's like a he's like a joke it's funny he's a funny guy nice i will look you up so yeah i think Cole. after so after shazam fury of the fury of the gods flash movie blue beetle aquaman 2 and joker Fall of oh, the blue dude beetle. 
I think after these, that's like when it really begins. Like these will be yeah, like the last literally said he was like, before. Shazam, Fear of the Gods is coming out. And then he's like Flash. And he was like doing little descriptions of everything that still needs to come out. And then he's like, then after that, then we're going to jump into the new the new shit. Blue Beetle could be cool. I think it will be. I think Wasn't he in that? Suit. Have you seen the suit? It's sick. Mm -hmm. I have it. Wasn't he? No. That was the Adam guy Was it? that was in Shazam. No, not Shazam. Fucking Black Adam. What the hell am I talking about? Blue Beetle. I didn't know a lot of these characters because of the Injustice, Injustice. Gangs. Yeah. yeah. I think this is... <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah, I mean, it looks like straight out of Injustice, mm -hmm. too, honestly. That's who's playing. I thought he was darker. I, he's, I, I think he's black in Injustice, too. Mm -hmm. but yeah. It'll be cool. It's something to look forward to, like a, a new set of like movies to follow, like the MCU was, because first phase, three Cause phases Lord of MCU knows, like, were fun. Marvel. Like those were fun. Like I was looking forward to every new release. So I hope I can get into it, like I did then. Yeah, I'm still waiting for Marvel to make me care again, because the only movie I actually want to go out and see, and I will see in theaters, is Guardians Three. I'm but, curious about Ant Man because of Kang. I mean, yeah, I like Ant Man, but like. I don't know. I'm just curious about Kang. I want to see what they're setting up there. Kang the... I still haven't seen Black Panther 2, and I don't think... Because literally Avengers 5 is called the Kang Dynasty. Yeah, so they're setting up a huge, like, Avenger event and again. And then 6 is the Se Secret Wars. Secret Wars is going to be cool. That is going to be a sick-ass movie. If they do it right. So I guess we'll see. I'm Maybe kinda... we'll actually see Black Symbiote in that movie. Yeah, maybe. If Tom Holland is still around for those movies. Because he's going to die? No, because th there was... Tom Holland said, like... He wanted to be done playing Spider Man or something like after this. I'm pretty movie. sure they're, yeah, they're making like a fifth one right now or a fourth one right now. All right, something about how Tom Holland doesn't want to play Spider Man forever. I don't even know. Why? I don't know. You know what I saw recently about Spider Man though? I didn't know. Tobey Maguire has recently made comics, comments I, saying I that he'd that. love to come back and play Spider Man again, that he Ooh. loves the original Sam Raimi movies. Ooh. So that'd be cool. That's, that's the Spider Man I grew up on. Yeah, that's yeah. my Spider Man. That would be crazy if they did like a. Spider-Man from the Spider-Verse, the white Peter Parker. Peter Parker's always white, but you know that ultimate, <laughs> the Ultimate Universe Spider-Man, the P Peter Parker in yeah, Spider-Verse. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't know. He's never seen it. But I oh, know talking about. I, I know, know how about. he's like older. Yeah, yeah, that one. So what? He could play like an older, like a role model kind of. Mm -hmm. He yeah. could play like an older Spider-Man like that. I can see that. Well, would that be like the plot of Spider-Man Four then? But so or like he, they sent them all back to their own multiverses and like made everybody forget about it or something except for they yeah. forgot yeah, yeah that was like, like everybody but tom holland oh tom holland i thought we were talking about spider-verse oh we were talking about like no man home spider-verse 2 is gonna be sick too i know yeah everybody i still need to see that first one i still dude know. it's a damn shame. it has been out since like 2018 <laughs> it's I a just, good ass movie I man i just haven't got around to it what can i say <laughs> It's like it bounces on and off Netflix all the time, and you literally know. own it. My brother owns it. Okay, just ask him to borrow it. Well, it's just like I don't know. I, I don't really want to go out of my way and watch it. Like if I'm feeling it, I will watch it. But I don't you're never feeling it. Yeah, you're I'm, never. I never feeling it. Been five the years. You know that's my favorite movie. And you've never seen it. <laughs> it's some people's favorite movies of all time. Oh, yeah, sure. it's some people's favorite Spider-Man movies too. I've heard yeah. that opinion as well. It's pretty cool, and I don't doubt it because I, I will have to admit the animation does look quite. It is quite pleasing to, to the, the eye. Ocular. <laughs> the ocular. Yeah. Yes. We have plenty of things to look forward to in the coming time of life. Yes, I'd say so. I can't wait to Av Avada Kedavra, the trolley lady, and Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> the trolley lady. What did you do to you? What did you do to you? She's working in the middle of the Is that game going to be multiplayer? I think so. Dude, if it is, we'll game it here. I, I'll get it. Dude, for, play with I've seen dude it looks so sick. The open world and, about it. The open world and shit and like all the detail they put into it, I really want to get it. It's dude, like a huge you damn thing about it. It's really cool. People are already playing it early. They're already getting like early copies and stuff. Because it's coming yeah, it comes out, out this month. Yeah, it literally comes out in like a week or two. Mm -hmm. All right then, dude. I'm going in blind. I, people are saying good things, but I'll get it. I'll play it. 
I think it's really going to appeal to me and Keaton, especially because we were... They were friends. saying something about, yeah. like... But I think you'll find some... I think it'll still be cool. Yeah. Harry Potter's They were cool. saying how, like, many hours it takes to beat the game, and it was, like, long. So it's, like, a long game, and you really get to, like... And there's, like... Spend time at school. A shit ton of side quests and shit. Yeah. RPGs are cool, and if it has fun combat, I'll play the shit out of it. It looks all, like, action-based and shit. Yeah, the, like, the spells in the combat mm -hmm. looks cool, and it seems like there's a wide variety of spells I have, so... Yeah, I could see myself playing that game a lot. Dude, we literally haven't fucking had a Harry Potter game since Deathly Hallows Part 2 movie tie-in game for, like, the 360 and PS3 era. In, like, 2012? <laughs> Jesus. And I played the shit out of that on the Xbox, dude. Oh, my God. Is it even good? I thought it was good. Deathly Hallows Part 1 movie tie-in game sucks, though. That one <laughs> yeah. sucks ass, but Part 2 I thought was fun. That's funny. Don't buy Order of the Phoenix. That I came out for the Wii, dude. I played all of the Lego games on the PSP. <laughs> yeah. I played the Lego games on the DS and the PS4. I played them on the DS and the PS4. And the Wii. And the PS4. I played uh, Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Star Wars, and Lego Batman on the Wii. I had Lego Indiana Jones 1 and 2 for my DS. I did as well. <laughs> and I, I had played, it on the Wii. I played Force Unleashed on the Wii. I, I've only played Force Unleashed 2. I've never played the first one. I have like first one. I've on played Switch. the second one like multiple times. You like, have? Yeah. But like, I was like, none, none of the story was making sense to me because like I don't know anything from like the previous <laughs> one. So I'm just like, okay. I, <laughs> all right. Okay, we'll go in and kill this guy. gameplay for you? Yeah, I was just like, I'm sick, badass. <laughs> gameplay's sick. That's funny. Yeah, the gameplay is It's so yeah. fun. We need like a, we need like a re, like a remake or like a third installment. Like, we need to bring that series back. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. That uh, new Fallen Order game got uh, really I'm uh, excited for that. I too. really liked Jedi. Uh, what was Fallen the last? Order. Dude, that comes out. Fallen Order. Yes. Does it come out soon? It's called Jedi Survivor or something like that. The new one? Yeah, some, yeah. Survivor. I swear I swear. Survive. It either comes out April no, this year or survive. next year. There's supposed to be like a time jump with a few years. I'm excited. No, Gears Survive. It was my like favorite one, guys. Dude, what if we watch Cal turn like into a Jedi, like an old wise guy? Because what if there's going to be a third game? Yeah, dude, it literally comes out in April. Oh, shit. Yeah, it got delayed. I think it was supposed to come out sooner than that. April 28th. It, it just got recently got April it, it delayed to April. Holy fuck, dude. I'm, I'm going to buy that game. I thought it came out a lot I later I really enjoyed that. the first one. Yeah, I, I played the hell out of the first one. I barely touched it. Dude, changing your lightsaber colors and getting the... <laughs> the the dual wheel. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I really... I, I like that game a lot. Good job, EA. One of your very few wins. wins. Sprinting. <laughs> yeah, I remember sometimes the like, the sprinting and the controls were a little wacky. No, I mean, he just looks like an idiot. Oh. Yeah, don't make like, your protagonist look like an idiot. He idiot. runs like a retard, man. Like how? He runs with his legs all far apart, and he's like this. Yeah. You, you've you played the game, man. I can't remember how he runs. Come on, like, man. It's oh been my god. I even gave him my cup because... I, you did give me your copy. I have it because I played everything I wanted to play in that game. So I'm like Jackson. But you know what? Time for you to experience. You still have it though because it's in your disc thing. It's yeah, in it's your like in my disc somewhere. case, so it's back with you right now. Yeah, you can you can try that. I I might still return for you. Oh, I actually it was free this month, so I I added it to my library. Damn it! Is it still free? What? Returnal. Oh no, Jedi Survivors or er, Fallen <laughs> Order. Wait, what are we? What is the first one? Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Yeah, that was free this month for PlayStation oh. Plus, so I added it to my library. Oh, you're saying Returnal? I was like, I'm gonna get that. What's Returnal? Well, you have it. Why don't you just pop in and use it? I'll do it. Try it out. What's Returnal? It's one of the first games the PS5 launched with. It's, it's like a PS5 exclusive, and it's oh. like, um, it's like this alien sh third-person shooter, and it's got like really cool monster designs. Oh, it was really cool. My cousin played it. Is it like a dungeon crawler, and it like changes every time you go in? Yeah, something like that. He said it's real. The combat's really addicting and fun, so I'm curious. Hmm. I've heard it's also pretty good too. I've never really heard any bad things. No, about I it. haven't heard anything bad about it either. I can't believe I bought it fucking retail seventy bucks physical. Well, yeah, why did you? Seventy bucks. I just wanted it. <laughs> I was in I Vegas just wanted it. and I was in the GameStop and I was like, "Oh, I have a lot of money right now. Maybe I should buy a game." Yeah. Never played it once. That was in twenty twenty one, when I had a lot of money. Just I've had that game for almost two years and I've never played it <laughs> once. Have you even popped it in your console? <laughs> no. Wow, he really did not. Hey, you've use... had Shin Megami Tensei 3 for a while, and you haven't even touched it, really. Um, at least I put it in my console, okay? Okay, that's true. Got him. Got him. 
Maybe I'll play those after I'm done buying all the personas. Because <laughs> you said okay. it's what the, the the Dark Souls people say. Dark Souls of JRPGs. That means I'm gonna rage like a fucking. Which dick. one? Shin Megami Tensei Three Nocturne. The one that has Dante. Yeah, Dante. In the it. Dark Souls of RPGs of JRPGs. Yeah. In the Dark Souls of JRPGs. The Dark Souls of Metal Gears survive. <gasps> Because everyone hates it and it's so horrifying to play. <gasps> That's true, but people like Dark Souls. It, isn't there one about, like, isn't there a spinoff about zombies or something? Or I'm thinking about something else. No, that's Metal Gear Survive. Is the zombies? Yeah. I thought that, yeah. I, for, like, I thought it was zombies, but I also thought that it was just, like, killing, like, humans. It's zombies. But it's still not fun. It's shite. It's shite. Doesn't even have Kojima. Fuck Kojima's Kojima. not even directing it. Kojima ain't even directed a play thing. Then why did it relax? Because Konami still has the goddamn rights and the license and registration. Please. P license and registration, please. <laughs> Late registration. Big bouncing boobies. <laughs> Late registration. Yeah. Yeah. Rip cage. Big boobs. Big rib cage. Big boobs. <laughs> Let's make this a uh, boy scene. I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, that is the boy scene. You grab the cock and then rip up and then pull the cock out. Uh, you get the, the the bladder track with it. Dude, <laughs> with these eight episodes of season four, I'm really curious of how creative they're gonna get for kids. Dude, <laughs> apparently some of it's really fucked up. I hope so. I can't wait to see more Homelander. I can't wait to see more Homelander's son. Fuck that kid. I'm kidding, Homelander. Please, 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 please. Oh! <laughs> he hears you from all He just the way. comes down and he just kills me. Breaks through the, the podcast. Breaks He's just like, roof. hey, bud, I heard you saying something. You want to say that a little louder? <laughs> just your face. <laughs> just like he does his still well. Yep. In the end of the first season. How is Butcher gonna fight toe to toe with him if he's up? I, you haven't even seen season three yet. You don't even know. I don't know. You need to watch it and you'll understand. Okay, I will. You hear that, Landy? I'm gonna start watching it alone. Yeah, just watch it alone. What? She doesn't like it? No, we just haven't watched oh. it. You still gotta finish season two. Season three is so good. I told you already. I finished season two. Oh, you did? You just start season I three. Think, I think season three like really sells you on the show because season one and two are really good. But season three, especially that Homelander oh. development, yo, go to, go to, it's so go. sick. Seriously, and Huey gets some great character development. Butcher does too. Someone who was it? Kimiko does. Seth Rogen. Kimiko does. Seth Rogen said that the boys wouldn't be successful if the MCU did not exist. That's what Seth Rogen said on Twitter. I can see that. Because we needed all those yeah. child-friendly movies to come out for then, like, the shock of, like, oh my gosh, heroes are doing this to oh, like, yeah. make it a success. Mm -hmm. So I can see that. Because nobody thinks about, like, what the heroes could actually do with that amount of power. Yeah. But then the boys are like, yeah, they could just fucking just fuck everything up. That. Yeah, but, like, Injustice isn't gory as fuck and just yeah. brutal and insane. Well, Shazam gets his face burnt apart by uh, Superman. I haven't played those games, so I don't but know. The, but, like... The thing is, it's like the boys do it to just like normal people. Yeah. But, like that's like soup on soup. True that. I mean, there's still that in the boys, but most of the time it's a lot of bystanders mm -hmm. just getting killed <laughs> by the heroes. <laughs> <laughs> just like that A train. Robin. Robin. R.I.P. Robin. <laughs> Never forget. But for real though, you had to go because Starlight better. The end of the road is coming. <laughs> Never forget. Huey holding that Robin's hands. hands. Robin! Robin! Dude. Run! I can't even imagine if that, like, happened IRL to, like, I my know. significant other. I would just, like... I would, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you what do? What do you do? I'm just... Yeah. You're just having a beautiful moment with them, and then they, ex like... They fucking... In, in a matter of a snap of a finger, yeah. it just... They're disintegrated. In a matter of and a you second. Just have and all their blood just, like, disembodied hands. On their face. Yeah, you, like, feel a... Something go by you and you got two hands in your Dude, hands. Dude, how fast it would happen too? You would see her and then like literally point one second, she's gone. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're just talking. To... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you start beating yourself with the hands. <laughs> that might be 
what you do, but um, uh, also over here, I think we do a little more combo than that. It's six thirty. It's six twenty-four. Oh, bucko. Six twenty-six. So what? But yeah, the boys go did. Never Just forget the first friend. episode of Invincible. <laughs> Where Omni Man goes psycho crazy. Never forget the last episode, episode of good. Invincible where Omni Man goes psycho crazy. Using his son as a weapon Dude. to kill innocent people. The subway scene? Yep, that's exactly what I'm thinking that about. That subway Dude. scene was fucked up. <laughs> I still need to watch that. I've not seen it. My that. brother. Season two <laughs> is coming soon. <laughs> wow. Isn't everything after season one supposed to be shit, though? Isn't that what the opinion I mean, Alex said it was boring. That's what he said. Yeah, that's what you said. That's what I'm sure the said. comics yeah, are... Like you said. That, it'll probably be better animated. Yeah, I'm sure the comics are more boring than the actual animation. I mean, yeah, look at the boys' comics and look at the show. Exactly, so why the fuck would you even bring that up, dude? You look like an idiot on camera. <gasps> I'm sorry, guys, I apologize to all the Invincible fans. Please don't dox me. <laughs> dox me. I was just thinking that. Guys, I love Invincible. And I've Invincible. Seen we finish one. each other's sandwiches. 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 Yeah, it'd be... <laughs> Yeah, dude. Anyways, I'm I'm ready for my second pres prescription of Homelander this year. Second <laughs> prescription of Homelander? Yeah, he's my prescription. When does that? You uh, already had your first prescription. What is that season? Actually, no, I haven't. I did my first one. What is that? You know what? Probably gonna come out next year. Yeah, probably next year. Yeah, so I won't have a prescription yeah. this year. I think it's been like two <sighs> years in between every season of, of The Boys or something. I still follow Homelander memes. I remember when the boys like first started. Because literally out. season three, came too. Out last year. Mm -hmm. I remember Swagger. I remember first hearing about it on the Mrs. Podcast. Because Swagger brought it up and he's like, dude, that's, it's actually really yeah, good. That's probably where I heard about it, too. I remember when that scene came out where he uses the baby as a laser. Yeah. I remember when that was the. I remember thing. when Swagger was like, dude, the baby scene was crazy. Yeah. And they talk about it on the episode. Dude, that's you know funny. what's funny? It's like, I remember seeing like trailers and teasers for the first season I'm like oh my gosh this is a superhero show and there's like blood and guts I remember telling myself I'm probably never gonna watch that I don't wanna watch yeah, that yeah me too I, I always like, thought like that's watch too that. fucked up yeah I was like oh. you guys, I was like that's that's funny I wasn't desensitized at that time I was like oh, I don't really wanna delve into that yeah but now I love it no, it's so awesome base goaded crazy red pilled black pilled sigma pilled homelander pilled homelander pilled homelander pilled yeah no! <laughs> Anthony Starr. I'm a woman. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony. Anthony Starr. Is it Anthony? Anchovies. That's how he says it. Anthony. Anthony. What if it's just Anthony? I think it is Anthony. I think like it's Anthony, Anthony Starr. Because it's there's not a TH. It's just T. Oh, it is Anthony then. Yeah. Anthony. Starr. That's a weird name though. He's got a, like Auntie. Where does he? Auntie. It's, yeah. He's got an accent. Yeah, he's British. I don't. He's like Australian, I think, right? I, I don't think he's British. Think. I think you're British. It was New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Holy shit! He's Forty-seven. Oh, that's he looks old, great man. for forty-seven. Good for him. New Zealand. That's cool. Yeah. Those type of accents are cool. Fitz and Toby. Look at him. He's so based. <laughs> Well, guys, I think this is a perfect spot to end our podcast with our love and appreciation for Homeland. For Look Anthony at Anthony Star. Star Omni Man in real life. Oh, that's cool. I always like um, Omni Man's outfit. Yeah, it's cool. His outfit was always so cool. Well, thanks for being Homelander pilled. Thanks, yep. guys. I'd say this was a pretty good one. I'd say so. Thank you for being Homelander pilled. Remember, guys. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Alright, there it is. Bye! Bye! Alright, alright guys, now we can watch big gay porn.